Regardless if you want to be cool like entrepreneurs like Sir Richard Branson or simply impress your friends, here's some research for you about the true cost of ownership of the infamous G5 Gulfstream jet. So what is the G5 jet? Most people know that very few people fly private and even fewer own the actual jet that they fly in, partly because the expense is so astronomical. Based on numerous phone calls to used plane brokers, we found that most G4U's jets start about $3.5 million, and while you can customize them in just about every way, the actual cost of a fairly decent new G650 can be as high as $72 million in stock form. If you like customizing cars, wait till you actually see the millions of different options that private planes offer and the extremely expensive cost of each. Let's talk about the hangar first. Hangars, on the other hand, are highly dependent on where you live, as most cities don't have private airports, and therefore costs can go up significantly if you just leave your plane at a national airport. A typical hangar in a private airport in Boca Raton, Florida, will run you an average of $6,000 per month. And while it doesn't seem that bad, this fee doesn't include any upkeeps to the plane. Our research says that space in a hangar at LAX will cost up to $13,000 a month. Next up, you'll need a pilot and crew. G5 pilots are not amateurs, and they're far from cheap. Most actually require their own hand-selected crew to cater to you, and with that, I can tell you that it ups the ticket by an additional $120,000 a year minimum. Most pilots we spoke to only flew G4s and charged $15,000 per flight minimum, if not hired on contract, no matter the distance. The crew is extra. As for the flight itself, between the cost of fuel and everything else associated with operating a plane, the average cost of flying is roughly between five and $6,000 an hour if you don't shell out the extra four to $7 million for the plane and about $2,000 if you own the plane and fly it at least 15 hours a month. So now you might have a better idea as to why so many people don't own their own G5 and very few actually go out of their way to fly private. There are many jet charter clubs that allow you to buy fly time with $100,000 down and then per hour charges which is ultimately convenient if you must fly private enough to make it count. If not, then we recommend sticking to first class. So is this the information you were looking for on the G5 jet? Let us know in the comments below and please check out these videos on the screen right now. Also, please subscribe if you want more Gulfstream news just like this.